Coach Simmons here again tonight, but it's time we get serious. A lot of people are asking questions, and duly so, about if a kid goes to a HBCU or SES school or a Power 5 school, is there a difference on NIL money? It's a dumb question, because yes, it is different on NIL money. No matter how good you think North Dakota State is, no matter how much you are riding that jock, you do understand they can't mess with Bama's money. No matter how good Alabama is, you know they can't mess with Texas money. I mean, it would take thousands of people to come together for HBCUs to do small donations to match what three guys can do from UT. But that's not what I'm coming at today. The question is not how do we get more money to smaller schools to compete with the NIL. Oh no, my brother. This is something bigger and more serious than that. The question people aren't asking themselves, people aren't trying to figure out is, what happens if the kid that signed these NIL deals does not perform? Texas A&M has a clause in their NIL contracts. You have to stay there two years of getting money back. What if you're the number one quarterback and you go to a place like an Ohio State with a million dollar NIL contract and you can't beat out the starting quarterback? Will there be pressure on these universities to, A, Chucky over here signed with Nike. Billy over here has an $8 million contract with Tesla. You gotta let Billy play. Better yet, and this is everybody who played football understands this question coming out of my head right now. What if, and I mean what if, Billy Boy, five-star quarterback, gets beat out by Timmy, the zero-star walk-on QB. What kind of tension would that bring in the locker room? He's messing with Billy's money, but Billy messing with Timmy's future. What happens when those companies come back and say, hey, look, we invested in you. You didn't do anything to prolong our investment. And what I mean when I say that, not all these companies that are investing, one, are legit. Two, not all these companies that are investing <laughs> Or above reproach. Give you an example. Pancake Fund at UT. 50,000 anybody shows up on campus playing lineman. Yeah, I know 50,000 to UT is like a nickel to me and you. I get that. But if you come up there and you just do not perform at all, What's the repercussions for that? Will these kids end up like the show we've seen growing up? How NFL players go broke? Who will be the next for Sean McCants? That's Andre Rising. If you get the money, you must perform. If you don't perform, you must give back the money. No one knows what's in these contracts. That's why, as a country, 
You say you can't sign a contract till you're 18 years old. Unless you join the army. Are these contracts even enforceable? Think about it. What's stopping a high school player from leaving the state to go sign a contract, become eligible, go play out of state? It's nothing. But I'm just worried about when they get back, the beef waiting for them. I'm Cole Simmons. And we watch it. Let's make an impact and show them we can view it.